Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. The quiet type, huh? Fine. Might help keep you out of trouble. I hope you're not a weirdo. Got enough of those already. God, I hope you ain't one of those psychotic quiet types. So, is there anything else I can do for you? Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Our clinic is down in the crater, by the bomb. Doc Church is a little rough around the edges, but the man's got talent and compassion. You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Sure is. Moriorities. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. So don't fall for his lies. And for God's sake, don't trust the man. Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. Sure thing. What's on your mind? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements too spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to DC. The place is a war zone. What do you want to know? The town's named after the bomb that's sitting in the middle of it. It hasn't gone off... yet. It's not like the place was put up overnight. Megaton's been here for decades, been growing and growing ever since. 
started out as a small settlement of people trying to get into Vault 101. When they were denied, they stuck around here. Some of them started worshipping the thing like a god. Now we've got a whole goddamn church. They're nuts, no doubt, but mostly harmless. By now, most people don't give a shit. They figure if it ain't gone off by now, it never will. I respectfully disagree. Fine. Enjoy your stay in Megaton. Don't get into any trouble, and we'll go on pretending we're friends. Carry on. Yeah? Hey there! I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Boy? Are you bothering me? Because I think we talked about what happens when you bother me. Not quite as good as that vault stuff you're used to, but it'll do you. You done? Good. Try to be careful. Women and children of the earth, come for Now I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Oh man, you're looking for your dad? That is so sweet. Did he run out on you when you were a kid or something? Our parents died when we were kids. My brother Leo, he's the oldest. He raised my brother Andy and me. It was hard on him, but we turned out okay. But God, you don't want to hear about that. I'm sorry, but I haven't seen your dad. He didn't eat at the Brass Lantern. I'd remember if he did. Here, take a look.
Enjoy! Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Have a good one, stranger. Forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Who have we here? Could it be? A new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. Many of the transient visitors end up at one of Megaton's seedier establishments. I suggest you speak to Colin Moriarty and continue your search there. Yes, what would you like to know? The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation, we see creation and unification in Atom's glow. Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to aid in the process of Atom's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact, and the Bomb, as you call it, represents Atom's capacity for creation. We kneel before it and ask that Atom call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. Even knowing the truth, you continue to mock us. How very, very sad. As you wish. In my youth, I traveled quite a bit, but that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Bask in Atom's glow and you will understand. Megaton, Atom's sacred village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine, and we have been called. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town around a bomb? To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division and the gift of the glow. The bomb is us, the bomb is Atom, and thus we are Atom awaiting the day in which each of us gives birth to a trillion new lives. News? My friend, I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Of course, now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. The man never sleeps. So they say. I wish you well on your path. Behold! Hey, 
I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. Oh, certainly, Your Majesty. Then consider this armored vault suit to be Megaton's gift to your mighty empire. However, you may consider going incognito. People around here don't always take kindly to monarchy, you know. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Well, okay, I guess. But I promise, you'll love it when you hear about the guide. Maybe later, huh? Absolutely. Good hunting! I couldn't tell you, really. i talked talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Come back soon! I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Son of a bitch. Why won't you work? Work. Come on, work. Goddamn radio. Wait. Just give it up, that... Gob. Not Damn it. Get anything. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Hey, Smoothskin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Haven't you ever seen a ghoul before? Well, not all of us got the chance to hole up in a nice cushy vault when the bombs fell. A bunch of us got stuck out here in the world and got a full-on blast of heat and radiation. Turned us into a pack of walking corpses. Near as I can tell, we... Age slower than you. A lot slower. There were even a few ghouls that were alive during the war. Of course, with a face like ground Brahmin meat, you can imagine that folks don't take too kindly to us. Yeah, fuck you too. Whatever, man. I'm used to being treated like shit around here. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. 
I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. Yeah, enjoy, dick. Come back soon. Welcome to Moriarty's Saloon. Hi there. I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Hmm, I'd love to spend time with you, too. Look, uh, I can help you. Get into the back office of this place. Moriarty keeps a terminal there. Everything you want is inside the terminal. Here's the password to it. Too bad you're so young, kid. I could teach you some stuff you'd never forget. Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. You don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and, and I know that he'd like to. It's just, well, I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. But there are places even I won't go. Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C., but the signal went down a while ago. You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. Well, for you, a room and some company will run you 120 caps, up front. Okay, then. Take care of yourself, hon. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. I await our next meeting with bated breath. Ah, my new friend. What can I get you? Some sorrows are best buried. 
And I'm a man that can provide all sorts of tools to bury them. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Stay the fuck out of me business, don't go where you don't belong, and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. I keep these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade, if you ask me. I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Tell it to Gob. He'll get you whatever you need. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say... A hundred cops, and daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the cops to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Who said anything about dirty work? You need some caps and I'm giving you a way to get them. It's just business. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> Don't let me keep you. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. Stay safe on the path you travel.
Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? That bastard. He's a... He's a liar. He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine. I earned them. Look, I used to work for that slob. Doing, you know, favors for guys. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with the pig to seal the deal. Next morning he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. You'd do that for me? I can't believe it. You hardly even know me. Thanks, kid. You watch yourself out there. Yeah? What is it? No. Sorry. I've left that part of my life behind. Who knows? Shoot myself up till I forget who I am? The wasteland sucks, kid. Just get used to it. Bye! Yeah? You need something? Dad usually doesn't like when I talk to strangers. Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy, Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Billy does. Have you met Billy, Billy Creel? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. They killed my real parents, but Billy showed up before they got me. And now he's like my daddy, sort of. It's okay, I guess. I used to live way far away when I was little, before Billy found me. I don't talk to most of them. Billy says that I have to be careful, even when people seem nice. And I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. I usually play with Harden most days, when his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Billy says that he's going to teach me to shoot one day, too. Bye, mister! Hell of a day, isn't it? Don't look at me. Well, hot damn! Someone new. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> oh, 
Sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Strong walls, strong people, and strong booze. We've got everything you need to make a life these days. Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. And I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? Later, Gator. You like that? If you need something from me, spill it. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record... Welcome to Moriarty's soul. What's shaking? 